Now, this leads me into my third investment strategy, and that's talking to a financial planner, not a financial advisor. I want you to talk to and find a financial planner, someone who could actually take into consideration your finances that you have, the risk tolerance that you want, whether you want to be investing a bunch of money being risky, or you want to be moderate, or you want to be a little self-sufficient and sustain over a few years. Depending on what your goals are, that financial planner will then take that information and then give you a strategy that's built for you. So my suggestion to you is to find a very good financial planner. What I had to do was, is I spent months looking for a financial planner. That means that I was going into different bank branches, different you know financial institutions just to find a person that looked like me. Not only that he had to look like me, but he had to know the information from the questions that I was giving him. I'm asking if you're a planner or an advisor, I'm asking about the strategies that you would implement into my life. I'm asking, are you a financial fiduciary for me? Do you have my best interest at it? Or are you just going with some type of algorithm that the company is working on? So those little detailed questions gave me the confidence in the person that I actually selected. And I, I don't think I made a bad selection. You have to find a financial planner. You have to understand the questions you need to ask in order for you that's best for you. So that way they can tailor a program that's right for you. My fourth investment strategy would be to consider thinking about life insurance. Life insurance is about protecting your family's future in case you become unalive. You don't want them the burden of having debt, bills, credit cards, rent, anything like that on top of the stress of losing a life. So life insurance is a guarantee that at least when you're not here, the support is actually gone. The support is still there. So life insurance is something that you should consider. There's different types of life insurance term, whole life. Think about considering getting life insurance, getting the policy out for you. It's never too late to start building on a policy to protect your family and your future. Then there's whole life a special type of coverage that offers even more benefits. With whole life insurance, your policy builds cash value over time. So while you're in your 40s, imagine 40 more years of putting money into a whole life insurance account. Think about it, do the math. But in the end, whether you choose term life or whole life insurance, you're still making a statement. You're telling your family that if something happens to me, the provider, that you don't have anything to worry about. The bills will be taken care of, the credit cards will be taken care of, the debt will be taken care of. We just have to deal solely with a loss of life and not the extra burden of all the bills that come around with it. At least we're alleviating some of the stress, not all of the stress, but at least some of the stress by having a life insurance policy, whether it be whole life or term life. Something to think about.